I have not gotten a chance to talk to you guys until now, which is lunchtime. It's been a busy morning. I think I've had about three or four calls um, at this point. Haven't had the chance to do my makeup yet. Two of those calls were on video, so I'm sure some folks are wondering why a 12 year old was employed at my company, but you know, people are generally pretty accepting during this time. So this video is gonna be a super raw look at what a work week in my life is like in sales. It'll be a work from home week this week for obvious reasons. It's not the norm for me to be working from home for more than a day or so at a time, but it is the norm I would say for most tech salespeople. Almost all of the field sales reps that I work with work remote out of their home offices. They don't generally go into offices and that's because they're traveling most weeks, you know, on flights or driving to customers one, two, three, four days of the week. And now that my forced air is coming back on, it seems like a good opportunity to do my makeup before I have a couple calls where I know I'll be on video and I know I have to look at least my age, if not older. Makeup wise, I'd be putting in the least amount of effort possible. I got in a shower this morning, which is rare. I am going to fill in the pivotal pieces, but not work too hard because let's face it, there are far too many people on one conferencing system for the video quality to be anything but severely pixelated. All right, here is my five minute makeup look. So I have a call right now. Let's get on it and I'll fill you in on what I've been up to afterwards. Hi, Maylene, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. Not bad for Monday. Yeah, well, you're not missing out on much. It's like dumping rain in the Bay Area, so. Definitely have not been outside like four days. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm staying sane. I can watch them do it a hundred times, but it's a whole different situation when I go in there and I actually try it myself and figure out if I have all the settings right and figure out what I'm missing. Just got off my internal team call. We basically just talked about updates, like trainings coming up, how to make the reports better that tell us which renewals are coming up for our customers and nice to see everyone's faces. And it's 3.05 now. I have a couple more calls to make just internally. A lot more email to get through. As Mondays go, this was like a moderate, I would say 5.5 on the busy scale. Nothing I can't handle, but definitely not a slow Monday by any means. Hey, Nick. Okay, that is a huge relief. Is there anyone we need to double check on that within finance or within any of those teams? Would you mind just putting that in writing just so I have it? You too, bye. All right, that went extremely well. Um, I'm struggling because I want to tell you guys everything and the intimate details of my job, but unlike when YouTubers do a work week in their life of being self-employed, they can show you virtually everything because you're their coworkers. But in this case, like you guys don't work with me, I can't tell you everything as intimately as a full-time YouTuber would, but I do want to give you a better picture of what a work week in sales is like as as opposed to just like, I'm doing email, now I'm on calls, which speaks to virtually every job in tech, not just in sales. I'm as done as I can be with everything for today. I'm gonna transition over here in my room because I got invited to a Ziki, which is a Zoom Kiki by my friend Jared, who is the best person you could possibly follow on Twitter. I'll have him linked below, but it's just Jared ZSC. And he has a PowerPoint of embarrassing moments to go over and he's turning 21, so. slide really dictates how you wear the same outfit for days on end. Can I comment on that? No one made you do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Good morning. It's 9.30. I've been up for two, three hours now. Everything I've been on so far has just been a prep call, an internal call, or a sync to prepare for a customer call, which takes up a lot of my time, but I'll take you guys through a healthy amount of that. I really did not wake up in the best mood and had a very vivid stress dream about still being in high school. So as you can imagine, I woke up with some light trauma to get through. I have three hours of back-to-back -back calls starting at 12 p.m. So I really only have like an hour-ish to get all my follow-up email done. So I really need to speed through these. All right, so in this case, I am actually inviting one of my customers to a webinar that we're hosting. It's basically like an open webinar to learn more about our products. There's no strings attached, anyone's welcome. So I'm just drafting an email here to one company, just explaining what the webinar will cover and why I thought it would be relevant for them. <laughs> It's kind of nice having you guys here. It's like I have a coworker to talk to sitting next to me at my desk. Typically, I just eat my little lunch at my desk. Sometimes I'll treat myself to a few scrolls through ye old Instagram feed. Since I don't have coworkers to talk to at a lunch table like I usually do when I'm in the office, but I have truly so much to do today. I don't have really more than like five minutes of free time, so I'm just gonna turn the camera off. I need to, I got it. I just, I look tired. I decided to come out here and get some fresh air before the sun officially set. I worked a 12 hour day today, so I didn't get to talk to you guys much because I was just anxious and stressed and, and busy. And yesterday I rated the busyness at a 5.5, I believe. Today the busyness was 8.5. It was too much, too busy. I've been trying to be more compassionate towards myself and give myself the rest that I need, but it's hard when I have 18 things on my plate that I have to get done that day that everyone's counting on me to do. Anxiety just started to build up and at first it was my head and then halfway through the day, I felt it in my body and in my chest. And I tried to slow it down and, and take the time to rest and breathe, meditate. I even tried just lying down and closing my eyes and trying to calm my heart rate that way. Everything was just elevated, heightened today. Physically, my body is just all sorts of haywire because of the autoimmune disease. Like my heart rate today was easily 110. I don't wanna blame on anything else but myself. I wanna take responsibility for how my days go, but it's hard when it feels like my body is literally fighting against me. I'm just gonna take you guys inside and we'll eat dinner and then we will edit a YouTube video together. For dinner, I'm having Beyond Sausage. Rice, thanks for grilling. Now it's time to finish the edits for my latest video, but I am feeling a lot better after dinner, so there's the positive within all of today. So basically when I told you guys that I was going to start editing, I really didn't, and I watched an episode of Grey's Anatomy and ate some cookies and further de-stressed, which I don't feel guilty about, but now it's 10 p.m. and I'm like, 30 minutes into editing with no end in sight, so I thought I'd at least peek you over my shoulder so you can see what's going on in my world. This video actually has been taking a lot more edits and it's like a 21 minute video. I edited it down from an hour and a half of footage because I will not shut up and I can never find the right way to say something. So um, let's get back to the edits. Stop distracting me. No snacks, never hungry. Eating out is a personal problem to get over. 
I really wanted to use the succession music over this, but I don't dare to risk demonetization as I was talking about earlier. I'm just gonna zoom in on these parts and not make them. Ken Burns. I'm gonna add in a real bleep sound. So there definitely is a point of like diminishing returns with YouTube editing specifically where you hit a point where like the additional edits and being 100% thorough isn't worth it because you can get the point across with 80% effort. Why do the extra 20%? Like it's gonna take you so much more time for such a little additional improvement basically. So I'm, I'm starting to reach that point. I hope I've given you a little look-see into editing. I'll report back and see if I actually finish tonight or if I throw in the towel and decide to finish up tomorrow night, but I'm hoping I can just power through and get this done. I will say goodnight. Pull the key out the ignition. Run your mouth, but I never listen. You hold me back, we'll never last. Keep talking all your shit. Fresh faced on a Wednesday morning. I sit up until 2 30 in the morning to get the video done and the thumbnail done and the title done and the description done and the end cards done and the full upload done. I really did the most for you guys and for myself to stay consistent and keep the content coming while I realistically have the time. Now it's nice because I've freed up my evenings tonight, tomorrow, and Friday where I can spend more time filming this video. Today I have mostly internal calls so I don't think it'll be as nearly as stressful. I only have four things on my to-do list to start the morning as opposed to like 12 yesterday. So I'm hoping today is more of an eight hour day as opposed to a 12 hour and Let's kick it off with some breakfast, shall we? You want me bad, but no, it's all an act. Something you say to get you away, keep talking all your shit. You say you got it all, but then you start to fall down. You say no fair, I never cared. Keep talking all your shit. Oh, keep talking all your shit, baby. Your words that drive me. Another thing I've learned, thanks to Gen Z YouTubers, is that plating is everything. This oatmeal tastes better because it's prettier. Them's the facts. All right, it is 6.30 p.m. Another day has gone by where I have very infrequently checked in with you guys because it's a busy day, but I've relocated to my bed to just finish out the rest of the work on my plate. Today was like a seven, 7.5 in terms of busyness. It started out pretty slow and then ramped up very quickly where emails were pouring in dozens by the minute. I was on back-to-back -back calls for probably five solid hours today. It was like 11 to four where I did not have a single break in between, just back to back to back to back to back, which is not super common, but it does happen that way, where sometimes the calls all get stacked up, but tomorrow I don't have as many calls yet. I keep saying hopefully the next day is gonna be easier and it never is, but such is the life of everyone being work from home right now, and I thought everyone would kind of kick it and relax and lay off, but everyone's kind of leaned into the work, I think, because I don't know, maybe it's one of the only things that we can control right now is if you're privileged enough to have a job, to work hard enough and try to keep it. I don't know, I, I don't wanna speak on behalf for anyone, but I thought if I'm gonna have to do my last emails here, might as well take you through at least this with me, so. I personally like to write, but when it's the end of the day and it's already 5 p.m. and I have 30 emails to respond to in an articulate way. My brain's just sort of mush at this point from churning everything out the whole day and I need a little bit of help. And it's nice to have something backing me up. In this case, I've been relying on Grammarly for the past, I wanna say three to four months. For the uninitiated, Grammarly is basically this digital writing assistant. You just plug it into your browser or you can download the app on your desktop or even on your mobile and your keyboard. 
I consider it like my sanity check to make sure that when I'm wrapping up and sending all these emails that I'm not sending emails to customers that are super long, hard to read, formatted poorly. End of the day is kind of where a lot of us make more of our spelling mistakes. So Grammarly does have a free product with basic grammar and spell checks, but upgrading to Grammarly Premium gives you access to advanced writing checks. So suddenly you'll have clarity suggestions, conciseness, formatting, and even vocab suggestions. And those are the bulk of what I rely on. What really helps me when it kicks in is the readability suggestion. So basically it tells me where to shorten things up, cut off a sentence at a certain point and start it back up after the period or also the tone. So we switch into a more casual tone when I'm doing YouTube emails, but then for work emails, when I'm emailing someone in leadership or a customer, I tend to stick more to the formal side, but I still want to come across like friendly, confident, and you can literally select those features in the Grammarly editor. I can select what I'm trying to go for and then Grammarly will help guide me that direction. It's crucial. Grammarly just pops up automatically everywhere for me now, even on Twitter, in my YouTube comments when I reply to you guys. I trust Grammarly with my life now. If you don't already have the Grammarly extension on your computer, I'm gonna have my link below to install that. I have my own discount page for Grammarly. If you want to try out premium, I have 20% off so that you can see the world beyond just spelling and grammar and actually get the structure of your emails and your writing in general tightened up. It's also just grammarly.com slash catherout. So thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring this video. The neighbors. <laughs> I'm glad someone's having fun during quarantine. feeling rested. I was in bed by 10 last night. Had some gnarly vivid dreams, which I've heard a lot of other people during this crazy time have also been experiencing. I wouldn't be doing my makeup today if it weren't for the fact that, that I need to take some photos after work for a sponsored campaign I'm doing. And like I was saying yesterday, I need to do everything I feasibly can to keep earning during this time period because while I'm lucky to still have my jobs, my whole pay isn't guaranteed every month. With my full-time job, I have a base pay and then commission on top of it, depending on how I perform against my quota. And then with YouTube, there's no base pay. Like usually there's, you know, a little bit coming in every month through just existing ad revenue, even if I don't post a video, just like a little bit. And then it's up to me whether I do a sponsored video on top to augment that income. All of that really helps me, especially because I have a lot of medical bills that are starting to rack up. Um, I learned yesterday I was actually charged $400 for my annual physical this year because apparently we had to bill it differently because I talked about something that doesn't fit under the medical billing code for a general annual physical, which I think is ridiculous that they limit you to what you can talk about in an annual physical. So I fought it and they told me they were not able to recode it. Now I'm just trying to do as much as I can to offset those bills and still build my emergency fund for the recession. All right, this is as good as I need it for now. Hey, Joe. Hey, Catherine, how you doing? Pretty good, how are you? Good. Yeah, we've got an animal farm over here. <laughs> I told you about that. We got the new cat, right? Yeah. Right, Kiki? Oh my gosh! And she's already taken on like the full mama role. Oh. Hundred percent. So, all right, back to back to work. <laughs> <laughs> my feelings exactly. No. <laughs>
now 5 2 p.m. I still have probably another hour of work ahead of me but I set up a nice little FaceTime date for myself with a couple of my best friends. Now that I've been working from home I try to set things that will naturally make me break at like the traditional end of my day like when I work in the office maybe it's because I'm more productive in an office environment or maybe it's just like the societal pressure, but I typically do leave around 5 p.m., if not 4, since I start work at 7 a.m. But at home, there's not that same sort of like rush to leave at 5 p.m., so I try to set my own pressure to finish work by 5, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna jump on this little FaceTime call. Hello? Hello. I can't see you. I'm gonna go get some food really quick, okay? No. <laughs> I haven't eaten really hungry. Dude, yeah, I had lunch at 4 p.m. today, so I... It's like, it's a musical. You don't sing in the opera. <laughs> the opera is singing. <laughs> have you ever been to an opera, Allie? Have you, wait, wait, have you seen Carol? Of course I've seen Carol. What do you think about Carol? I love Carol. Okay, do you think that was better than Carol? No. I don't think it was better. It's definitely better than Carol Mine. No, no, I mean Carol's not as good as that. Could I see? Oh, did I go so? No, I go. It's Friday, back in the quarter zip, back to glasses and no makeup. I'm in my natural state. I didn't plate this very nicely and the avocado wasn't perfectly ripe, but it's New Music Friday. It's released Radar, we're gonna let it go. There was a new Phoebe Bridgers song out today, so it's gonna be a good one, I can just feel it. This has been close to a 60 hour work week for me this week, so I truly feel like I'm 50 years old when I say that I'm very excited it's Friday because that means the weekend is upon us. I may not have worked out this week, but my brain definitely burned a lot of calories, so that's at least something. I mean, Pete, my dad's mobile green screen in the back. <laughs> Today, my goal for filming is to take you guys through how I wrap up my week. Typically, Fridays, I have fewer customer calls because, I don't know, most people don't like to work too hard on Fridays, so people try to avoid scheduling things today. Plus, it's actually a holiday today. Not for me, but for everyone else. So... I'm assuming people will be less online, but who's to say? But anyway, I'll show you guys what my typical checklist is before I hit the weekend. I also had a dream last night that I was at Cody Co. and Kelsey Kreppel's apartment and <laughs> we recorded a TikTok where Cody thought I was Kelsey and I posted it and then somehow it was like launched into that YouTube sphere and we were all hanging out. And I thought it was real when I woke up, but it wasn't, so. Sometimes the toast just hits and today was not one of those days, but if you remember, on Monday I had a breakfast bagel with avo and egg and like, ooh, that one do be hitting different. The first meeting on my plate is to meet with my mentee. She has a training project where she has to create a presentation about account intel, which is a key part of sales. Basically just means that you know all the background, all the context, all the industry news, financial information of the companies that you work with so that you can be a better partner um, and a better vendor and you actually know what's going on in their business so that you can talk to them in a very personalized way. So I'm just gonna review that with her, give her some feedback on the presentation, and then other than that, I have a couple one-on-ones on my schedule. So one-on-one -on -one with my direct manager, and then a one-on-one -on -one 
again with my mentee to train her up on some other stuff. So everything's internal today, which is why I'm not tripping that I'm not wearing makeup. It's 3.14 on a Friday, which is 5.14 central time, so I more or less can rest assured that no one will be inflating my inbox with emails to get back to. I should be able to get to relatively inbox zero, which is number one action item of wrapping up before the weekend. Number two is making system updates. So in sales, generally you have some sort of system of record that you keep updated with all of your accounts, companies you're working with, opportunities, you know, renewals, everything like that. If you've heard of Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics, those two systems are pretty popular for salespeople to make updates. And so I just need to go in here and write down the next steps. So the most recent updates that have happened with that customer and the next thing we're going to do with them. So are we going to send an email to follow up? Are we going to set up time for a demo? Like what is actually the next step you know, heading towards? Next, I need to make sure there's no lingering to-dos. This to-do list is actually uh, complete, so I'm good to go. Hi, this is Catherine. Hi, Brett. They are going to review with your provider and see what they can do about this. We'll give you a call early next week to let you know what's happening with this. All right, take care, bye-bye. That was my doctor's office who's trying to charge me $400 for my annual physical this year. Anyway, <laughs> last, last, last thing I do is look at my calendar for the next week and make sure if there's anything on Monday that I haven't prepared for that I do that right now. So on Monday I have a one-on-one, -on -one, another one-on-one, -on -one, another one-on-one, -on -one, an internal sync before a demo, another one-on-one, -on -one, and a conversation with one of our consulting partners that does not take preparation. I do have an initial conversation about a renewal that I need to prepare for, and then another internal sync on a renewal. So a lot of internal stuff on Mondays to get prepared for the week. So in general, it doesn't take too much of my Friday to get ready for Monday, which is how I like it. So I'm hoping today I'll actually wrap up by like 4 p.m. my normal eight hour day, even though I didn't take a lunch today. So I really worked from seven to four, which is nine hours instead of eight, but who's counting? Uh, We done.